Hi everybody, Alex from Massive here. So I work with clients remotely on a lot of different video projects. This means having to deal with gigabytes or terabytes of footage that need to be moved in and out of the cloud. And yes, it is a pain. For example, on the last project that I worked on, I had to download 400 gigabytes of footage, file by file, just because if I wanted to download it, everything at once, it just gave me corrupted files. OneDrive, I'm looking at you. It's hard to choose the right cloud storage for videos. You need to consider storage space, read and write speeds, sharing tools, and a bunch of other stuff. That's why today I want to show you eight fantastic cloud storages for videos. Hopefully this video will help you to save some time, money, and sanity when shopping for different types of video storage. Ay, maldita for this list, I thought I'd do something a little different. Rather than just name a bunch of options, I've organized them by specific scenarios. Because video cloud storage is so versatile, it's good to know which storage is best for small businesses, big team projects, archiving, etc. And it just so happens that Massive has integration with all of these providers. That means that you can transfer large files from Massive directly to any cloud storage without having to download the files first. You can sign up for a free trial with Massive. The link is in the description for you to try it out. All right, let's get started. Use the video chapters to jump between sections. Frame.io, best for creative video production teams. Frame.io is the best cloud storage for creative video productions. Why? Because they're owned by Adobe and Adobe is everywhere. Now, nah, seriously, it's because Frame.io caters to the needs of video professionals. It's an all-in-one tool that allows you to upload your camera media manage your files with proxies, and review everything with your team frame by frame. Adobe Creative Cloud users have access to Frame.io, which includes 100 gigabytes of storage, five projects at a time, two users, and unlimited reviewers. If you want more, you will have to pay more. Google Drive, best for small businesses. Yeah, that's right, Google Drive is on the list. Is it the best for storing large video files often? Not really, but we're all very familiar with the Google environment and have used Google Drive at some point in our lives. It's a great option for smaller video businesses. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's a great option for smaller video businesses who are growing quickly and need something in the interim. With Google Workspace for Business, you have access to all of their business apps and services like custom email, video meetings and recordings, security and support. The standard drive plan gets you two terabytes. You can get more than five terabytes storage, but you will need to contact Google to upgrade. Unlike Frame.io, Google Drive doesn't have review or approval features. Downloading from a browser is also super slow, so I would say this works best as a long-term cold storage. Dropbox, best for creative teams in wider businesses. Another very familiar name for many of us. Dropbox is very easy to use and its ability to sync across platforms and users is what makes it stand out. Because of that, it's a great product for creative teams spread out across a business. It has a video reviewer tool called Replay, which allows you to review up to four files. You can get paid add-ons if you want more. It also has some other interesting business features like watermarks for security, 180-day file recovery, custom branding, and document signing. Depending on your plan, you can get five terabytes or as much space as you need but transfers max out at 100 gigabytes and file uploads are capped at 50 gigabytes over a browser. I have to say though, like Google Drive, downloads over Dropbox are not the fastest either and the overall sharing workflow can be smoother. PostLab Drive, best for multi-artist project collaboration. PostLab Drive is designed for collaboration when editing videos. Bye-bye. It allows multiple editors to work remotely on the same project at the same time. Of course, main editors can lock a project to avoid any changes while they work. PostLab is great because you can connect your drive directly to their servers. Then, when you use the drop-off feature, any file uploaded to a special link can be accessed from your drive as if they are stored locally. If you're familiar with Massive, this is similar to how Massive portals work. Because PostLab has more advanced features for filmmakers, it is more expensive. Use it as a working storage rather than a long-term archive. They do have very cheap plans though, like 10 gigabytes for $1. Backblaze, best for simple archive and backup. Backblaze is one of the best options if you need to backup your files. It's easy to set up and manage as it automatically backs up your data and stores versions of each file. 
the amount of days those versions are stored depends on your plan. On a personal backup plan, you can store unlimited data, including from attached external hard drives from around $7 per month. It doesn't have video tools to collaborate with your teams, but it does include integrations with NAS, SAM, and MAN systems. Wasabi, best for affordable cloud NAS. Wasabi is a cheaper alternative to Amazon S3 or Microsoft Azure. According to them, they cost one-fifth of the price of the S3 and Azure. You can get an enterprise-level cloud storage with no fees for egress or API calls. Wasabi is considered hot storage. It is meant for frequent use and it can connect to an NAS system. You can access your stored data as if it is local. Getting started with Wasabi requires some technical knowledge and it could be easier to share files. Luckily, Wasabi has a ton of media workflow integrations to make up for it, including Iconic, Cat TV, and yours truly, Massive. Amazon S3, best for custom workflows. Amazon is taking over the world and cloud storage is no exception. Amazon S3 is currently the largest cloud storage service in the market. This option is very attractive for large video teams as S3 is completely scalable and customizable. You will need support to set it up and maintain it, but if you know how to code or you have an IT team that can design your media workflow, the S3 is the one for you. S3 is focused on long-term storage. It's not designed for sharing files. Luckily, Massive turns S3 into collaborative storage. Massive can send and receive files into and out of the Amazon S3 using the web browser. It's super simple to use and the integration allows you to upload files up to 5 terabytes from any browser, way over the S3 console limit of 160 gigabytes. If you're interested in learning more about the Massive S3 workflow, I'll leave you this link in the top right for you to check out. Massive, best for transferring to other cloud storages. And yes, here we are. <laughs> Massive works a little bit differently than the other providers I mentioned before. We focus on the fast and secure transfer of large files wherever they need to be in the world. Depending on your plan, you can get seven to 10 days free storage when you transfer your files and without any size limits. You can extend this time for 10 cents per gigabyte a month. But this option is best when you need an extra copy for a limited amount of time, like when you're waiting for final approval from a client. Where Massive really shines is through its connections with other cloud storages. Massive integrates beautifully with over 20 different cloud storage providers and MANs. You can easily set up a Massive portal and select a specific cloud storage provider as the upload destination. With portals, you create a web link where anyone can upload files to you and your cloud storage without credentials. You don't have to waste time downloading files to your computer only to re-upload them to the cloud storage. If you're interested, watch this quick video about portals. And if you want to try Massive for free, click on the link in the description box. It only takes a few minutes to sign up and you can start sending files immediately. That's it, friends. Those are some of the best cloud storages for videos in 2023. I gave you a quick rundown, so I strongly suggest researching these options further. Here is a handy table to help you on your buyer's journey. It all depends on what you need and how much you want to spend. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you find this video helpful or you learned something new today about the cloud storages, please help us with that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel so we can keep bringing you these videos. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and which cloud storage you would choose for your videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. My hair is fluffy. Humidity. <laughs> Yeah, you like that? You want to edit?